everyone, it's me, Jams, uh, of What the Jams. Today, um, oh. we've got something a bit different, a new series, so to speak. Because of scheduling conflicts and such, Koi isn't going to be recording with me for a while. I'm going to be doing stuff probably solo, maybe with guests, depending on how things go. Unfortunately, I don't know what this is going to mean for our Kingdom Hearts 3 Let's Play. At the moment, we're probably not going to have this up by release day any or, or, or any time close. Mainly because, again, Koi's going to be too busy for that, and I personally want to enjoy the game on my own before uh, we uh, before we do anything related to it for the channel. So instead, today we have a new series called uh, A Challenger Approaches, and in this new series, I'm going to be taking on all manner of pretty much end game challenges, post game stuff, optional bosses, you name it. Multiplayer um, stuff I'll do too. Mainly, uh, mainly online multiplayer matches like uh, Smash Ultimate. I'll have replays of those uploaded in a few weeks. I'll try to get these up each Sunday. But anyways, for today we're going to be taking on uh, Final Fantasy XV's infamous Adamant Toys enemy, and as you're going to see in a bit. The boss is more uh, uh, the camera angles rather than the actual Adamantois. <laughs> um, personally, I really enjoyed Final Fantasy XV. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll do a video on it at some point in the future. I really do feel that I need to give my personal thoughts on this game since... At launch, I had a very, very mixed opinion of this game. Well, at least it's second half, anyway, and I think everybody knows why. <laughs> well, everybody who's played the game, anyway. It's gotten a lot of updates since then to fix a lot of its problems, so it's better, but... <sighs> it definitely should not become the industry standard. Let's so, anyways, Sounds um... Reasonable enough. Here we're going to take on the uh, Adamant Toys Hunt. This is an all post um, recording commentary. Us? I've done this fight before, too, thankfully. And as I said before, it's not a, a particularly difficult boss. The challenge lies more so within... Going, uh, it, it's a sort of DPS check, I guess you could call it, maybe. But... This here been a real pain in the rear. The real challenge is actually dealing enough damage to kill it within a reasonable time frame, just because this thing has so much HP. We aren't talking Final Fantasy XII Yasmat or anything like that, but definitely uh, one of the bulkier enemies the series has seen so far. Whoa! What is that? Whoa! Oh no! No way, dude! That's a turtle! Look at the size of it. It's freaking huge. Speaking of which, you, you kind of had to wonder how, how, for God knows how long, that thing was sleeping under the mountain like that. It is the mountain, and nobody ever realized. And they must all, and Lucius must have uh, an incredible evacuation system because uh, every NPC in the game world disappears once this thing is out <laughs> and th th that's record time man anyways as you'll see in a moment despite the fact that this thing is out doing whatever you're still given the chance to um, wander around and go uh, camp and Definitely, I recommend doing this. If if you're doing this, you should definitely have some uh, ingredients for uh, crit buff food. The Golden Tail Soup in particular is my go-to choice. I haven't unlocked some of the new ones yet, uh, added by the Royal Edition. But what this food does, for those of you who do not know, it makes it so all of your party members are guaranteed to do critical hits for the duration of the buff and that's pretty significant since 
that basically doubles your damage output. And here we're just gonna chill. <laughs> we're just gonna chill while this thing is out trying to rampage or whatever. We'll, 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 I don't think it's much of a threat to be honest. It can't really move. Yeah, the Animan Toys never really does much but just kind of move its flippers around, so... But yeah, for the time being, this is going to be this kind of stuff that I upload to What the Jams, because, uh... Again, Koi's Busy, our KH3 playthrough is kind of in limbo now. We don't even have the game yet, obviously. But, uh, I really hope that it's... You know, a complete, polished product at launch. I mean, I've been hearing that the game is apparently kind of short, like around 30 to 40 hours, which is standard length for a KH game, but a bit shorter than I was expecting for something so uh, hyped up. But I think the more important thing is, is that KH3, hopefully it should be, uh, hopefully this story is pretty much as fleshed out as it can be. Wraps up uh, as much loose ends as it can get. As it can get. Really, I don't want to repeat of what happened with this game, where a lot of um, world building and plot elements, especially with your party members, had to be added in by a paid DLC. <laughs> Again, Final Fantasy XV is in a much better state now than it was at launch, and arguably it feels like a very complete product now. But. Anyways, uh, I've got the Ragnarok equipped, which, uh, it's a DLC weapon, um, came out pretty early during the game's, uh, life cycle, and it does a lot of damage on Warp Strikes, pretty much hits the damage cap. What I personally recommend is, uh, instead of you doing what I'm doing, uh, with trying to use the Armager Unleashed, and trying to be all fancy, uh, w with that shit, just equip those will crossblades. You'll get that from defeating another super boss called the Nacklefar. I think that's how it's pronounced, but if you beat that boss for for the um, corresponding post-game side quest, you'll be able to uh, get the will crossblades. These are probably one of the best weapons in the game, uh, mainly because uh, it's high damage output and the fact that it gains a pretty large buff when Noctis is at full HP. For some enemies, that's not going to be too helpful if you're not that good at the game. But for this fight in particular, you're going to be hitting like multiple hits all at damage cap. Speaking of the Armager Unleashed here, for some reason the camera angles and lock-on just seems to be really finicky here. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I think that about covers it for what I wanted to say in this video. Um, I suppose it's time I just let things play out, and we'll see you next time, folks. Um, also, also, please be sure to, uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you, uh, like what we do. I mean, you've probably heard this marketing pitch a thousand times, but it really will help our channel grow, and I hope we can reach a wider audience like this. There's so much that I really want to do with this channel, too, in the future. So, I'd appreciate any bit of support that I can get from you guys. We're gaining ground, but there's still a long way to go. Some. You, uh, nervous there? Who gave it away? No, that yeah. still isn't good enough. Now with that attitude, it isn't.
expect this much trouble. Doesn't look good. Once ah! Ah! See ya!
Sounds like someone's in a good mood. Basking in our hard-fought victory, I presume. <sighs> we actually did it! Piece of cake, huh? <laughs> After an infinite regression, we arrived at an answer. The turtles all the way down.
Easy now. Magitek engine. It's close. Hey! Buddy. <sighs> oh, oh uh, hey, what can I do you for? Nice work out there. I can tell you all about the area. Make sure you're eating right. After his son's accident, I never imagined it. Leave it to a genius like Sid. Thank mm -hmm. you. 